Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler here and today we are going to rebuild the New York Knicks. Now, I don't know why I didn't do this rebuild way sooner considering everyone's been like talking about Kevin Durant going to the Knicks for like the last, I don't know, six months. But anyways, I should have done this rebuild after the Porzingis trade and I didn't. Here we are though and there's a number of ways we can go with this. So... <sighs> I'm thinking we can straight up just tank right now, sign Kyrie and Kevin Durant, and then try to put a build team around them. And then when, as we tank, we're going to have the first round pick and we're going to probably draft Zion. Or we can tank the first round pick. And by the way, if I do all, of, if I do the first option I just mentioned, and I get Kyrie, I'm gonna have to trade Dennis Smith Jr. So do I do that, get rid of Dennis Smith Jr. for Kyrie and KD and Zion, or do I try to get the first round pick and trade for Anthony Davis, which will probably be impossible, but I can try to put a package together for Anthony Davis, then bring in Kyrie, then bring in Kevin Durant, and have a Kyrie, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis big three. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, this team could be totally different next year, but uh, we're gonna get ahead, go ahead and get into this rebuild. So that's just kind of my ideas as we're as we're starting here. So coach game plan, uh, not coach game plan, roster. I'm gonna go ahead and send uh, Mitchell Robinson to the G League for sure. Kevin Knox, sign him to the G League, and then I mean honestly, I could sign, <laughs> I could have signed Dennis Smith to the G League. I mean, that's that's going all, all out tank mode, but you know what? I might do that. Why not? We'll make Dennis Smith a beast. And then we're going to go trade finder. We need to find, actually go salary cap table first. We need to find any long-term money. Lance Thomas, Frank Natilakina. Actually, no, we'll keep Natilakina this year just because he'll be our starting point guard. Or off the bench too. Moutier, Trier, Hizonia. Noah Vonley, DeAndre Jordan, Damian Dotson, Kadeem Allen, Frank Natilakina, Luke Cornett, Henry Ellison. Okay, now let's go ahead and find long-term money here. Salary cap table, Lance Thomas. And that's about it. I mean, we're going to have 10 cap space anyways. Not that it really matters, but still, I don't need Lance Thomas. Okay, yeah, we're just going to leave it how it is. And uh, we're going to leave the team the way it is. We're just going to go ahead and simulate this season. We're going full tank mode. Tank for Zion, trade for Anthony Davis. I don't know what we're gonna do here, but it'll for sure be a really interesting offseason. See you guys there. All right, guys, season's over. Steph wins the MVP. Trey Young, Rookie of the Year. DeMontis Sabonis, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis DPOY. Jordan Clarkson, Most Improved. Brad Stevens, Coach of the Year. Nobody on any of the teams because we sucked, which is obviously on purpose. And we went 22 and 60. Absolutely terrible. Thought someone was coming in. And uh, we're just going to go right to the offseason. Breaking news, guys. Odell Beckham just got traded to the Browns. That is crazy. Pretty mad the Niners couldn't trade for Odell or Antonio Brown. But you know what? It is what it is. We stay taking L's, though. And the Warriors win the championship. So it is time for the probably the most interesting thing that's going to happen this offseason. We're about to do it in the video game. So, we have Dennis Smith, who is a 83 overall, Kevin Knox, who is an 81 overall, and Mitchell Robinson, who is an 80 overall. Three good players to put around a bunch of studs. Now, what I could also do is keep Dennis Smith, who Dennis Smith, I feel like, plays like a New Yorker a little bit, so I like Dennis Smith on the Knicks. We could um, sign Jimmy Butler and KD. You know, like, there's a bunch of options we have here. But, first and foremost, we need to do is go ahead and check out the, the draft lottery because that's what's most important here. We should have the first pick, I would assume. Yeah. Now, are we going to get the first pick? I don't know. Hopefully, we keep it. And we do. Perfect. So, we have the first pick in the draft. That's awesome. That'll help us out. Staff signing. Let's go ahead and let's fire this guy. And let's sign... Oh, there's nobody with the A+. Plus. <sighs> that's stupid. I guess we'll go... Oh, is Randy Martin available? Man, they like put his training down. That's crazy. Okay. 
B plus this guy, I guess. Okay, so we got that guy now. And it is time to figure out what we want to do. We have the first pick in the draft. We're going to put it up and see what we can get for it. I'm hoping Anthony Davis would be on here, but it's looking like he's not going to be. I just, I'm just not getting those level of players. Um, I'm going to try to put together a package for Anthony Davis. I don't know if we'll be able to. I, I've, I feel like Anthony Davis is pretty much untouchable in 2K, but we're going to try. What if I give you our first round pick next year and our first round pick the year after that? Really? You're still not blown away. I'll give you the Mavericks first round pick as well. Okay. Uh, what if I take away this one? What if I go, is this pick more valuable? 2023, not really. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wait here and see if I can make this trade a little bit later in the off season. And we're about to see what we can do here. NBA draft, we have the first pick. We're on the board. Trade finder, we're gonna go again. Nick's pick, is there any different trades here? There's four, Celtics, Kings, Nuggets, Spurs. Okay, we're gonna go Knicks, pick, Kevin Knox, Mitchell Robinson. What's out there for me now? Nothing's found for me, really. What about just Kevin Knox? Really? Knicks pick and Mitchell Robinson. So we could have Jamal Murray and Gary Harris, Victor Oladipo, Miles Turner, DeMar, DeMo DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge, Devin Booker, and TJ Warren. Is there any way I can get Anthony Davis right now? No, there isn't. Okay, so we're going to have to figure that out here. For now, we're just going to take Zion. And we might not even be keeping Zion. We might, or, or we'll, maybe we'll keep him. Zion in New York will for sure be exciting. But... I don't know if I'm going to keep him or not. All right, guys. So we're in free agency. We have a ton of cap pull. Let's go ahead and get the cap pull out of there now. Uh, DeAndre Jordan, goodbye. Emmanuel Moudier, goodbye. K Kadeem Allen, ooh, I, I, I wouldn't mind keeping him, actually. Backup point. Uh, we'll, we'll leave him. Vonley, you're gone. Dotson's gone. Super Mario, he's gone. Luke Cornette's gone. Henry Ellison's gone. Luke Thomas is gone. Zay Hicks is gone. John Jenkins gone. Kadeem Allen, I would would not mind keeping him, but we'll worry about that later. We have a ton of cap space, and we obviously are going for KD. I mean, no trade clause, everything. He gets whatever he wants. And here's the thing. Now it's time. We have Zion. We have Dennis Smith. We have Kevin Knox. Is that enough to trade for Anthony Davis? Can we get Anthony Davis on this team? We're about to find out. Nothing. Okay, we're gonna go to propose trade here. We want Anthony Davis in return. We're willing to give you Zion. We're willing to give you Dennis Smith Jr. We're willing to give you Mitchell Robinson. Not blown away. We're going to give all of our young pieces now. Kevin Knox, Zion, Dennis Smith, Mitchell Robinson, and next year's first round pick. How are you not blown away by that? I mean, I know it's not like... I mean, look at this. Two first round picks and a built-in like core. And he doesn't want to be there. But see, the thing is the game doesn't know Anthony Davis doesn't want to be there. And that's the problem. Um, all right, well, looks like we're keeping Zion, which is fine, but I just wanted to see if I could go for AD, KD, and Kyrie. So with that being said, now we've offered KD our contract. Um, I believe it's, uh, I'm going to do this trade. We get Atlanta Hawks first round pick and Tory Craig, and we're cutting 2 million. And actually, you know what, while we're at it. If I want Kadeem Allen, I, I could get any backup point guard. I don't need to keep Kadeem Allen. We need to have as much cap space as possible here. So I'm going to offer Kyrie Irving a player option 3 plus 1. Not a no trade clause. 
just in case things go south. But we're giving him this massive contract. Kareem, or not Kareem, Kyrie and KD. Can we get them? You know what? Let me give Jimmy Butler a contract as well. Just in case, once again, player option. Three plus one, huge money. All right, who's going to accept? Wow, Jimmy Butler accepted. KD and Kyrie went elsewhere. Kyrie went to the Clippers. KD went back to the Warriors. Wow, so we got... Whew, okay. Wow, so we couldn't get KD or Kyrie. We got Jimmy Butler, though. But man, that, that kind of sucks. This was always a possibility that they would strike out. So... We have to go to our backup plans. Tobias Harris is unrestricted. Clay Thompson is unrestricted. Chris Middleton's unrestricted. Chris Middleton wants a lot less than Clay, and he's not that much worse than him. I mean, it would make sense to go for Chris Middleton, although Clay Thompson's kind of a almost like the star power pick. Tobias Harris, on the other hand, can play power forward, and that would kind of muddy things up less because you could put. You have Dennis Smith at point guard, Jimmy Butler at shooting guard. You would then have Zion at small forward, Tobias at power forward. Although the thing is, Tobias Harris plays better at small forward. So, I don't know. We can offer Clay some money and see if he takes it. Or, you know what? Mm, Tobias is only 27. Is Boogie available? No? Did Boogie already signed with someone? Boogie signed with the Lakers. Okay. That's actually where I think he's going to go in real life, too, by the way. Oh, Kemba. We didn't offer Kemba anything. Oh, man. We lost out on Kemba. Oh, well. I mean, we can only, we can only offer three contracts anyways, you know. So, looking at the team, we're going to have Dennis Smith, Jimmy Butler, Kevin Knox, Torrey Craig... Zion, Mitchell Robinson. So we need a big man. We basically, we basically need a power forward, a center. A power forward and a center is what we really need. So we need to figure out, does Tobias Harris fit that? I don't know. I mean, the, the power forwards and centers really aren't that great. Um, I'll give Tobias Harris an offer. We'll do that. Three plus one. I'll go 125 or 120. I'll go 123. And then Clay Thompson. See, Clay Thompson doesn't really doesn't really fix our problems though. But I don't want to give money to just some center just just cause. Don't want to do that. Well, let's give money to everybody. Three plus one on Clay, and we'll go. Four year. We'll go with three plus one on Chris Middleton. Who's gonna accept? I can have whoever I want, basically. Jimmy Butler and Chris Middleton. Hmm. So I already have Jimmy Butler, that's what goes without saying. But I do have Tobias Harris. I mean really I could get rid of I wanted to get rid of Jimmy and go to Tobias Harris and Chris Middleton, but I'd be stupid. So we need to figure out, does Tobias Harris make more sense or Chris Middleton? I'm gonna go Tobias Harris. Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris, which is funny because they're both on the Sixers together and they're gonna be on the Knicks together. But you know what, it is what it is. Clay Thompson went to the Warriors anyways. Looking at our team though, Dennis Smith, Alonzo Trier, Jimmy Butler, I'm gonna move Jimmy Butler to shooting guard actually. Tobias Harris is going to be a small forward, and Zion's going to be a small forward. I'm going to play Zion probably at power forward, or maybe I'll, I don't know what I'll do yet, but that's not really relevant. So the problem is our five best players, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Zion, Dennis Smith, Kevin Knox, they're all same position kind of besides Dennis Smith. We may actually go ahead and trade Kevin Knox because there's really not going to be any spot for him on this team. If we can get a good big man for Kevin Knox, we might as well do it. We could get Mo Bamba to the Knicks. What's his potential though? If his potential is like 82, I'm good. 
87. Ooh, okay. Sabonis and Doug McDermott. Sergi Baca. Clint Capella? Yo, no way. You're, you're going to give me Clint Capella for Kevin Knox? Whew. Yo, I'll take that. Give me Clint Capella all day. All right, so we just got Clint Capella from the Rockets. That's crazy, but you know what? I'll take it. So we just got our big man now. Dennis Smith, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, and Zion. No power forwards, but we got Clint Capella. Um... Maybe I'll move Tobias Harris to power forward. The thing is, he, he goes down three overall points. I don't like that. I might just keep him at small forward and play him at power forward. One thing I might do, though, is put Mitchell Robinson at power forward because he definitely will go up, I believe. All right, guys, we're at training camps. In case I decided to cut out some of free agency, let me just update you with who I have here. I signed, uh, in terms of like the smaller guys, I ended up signing Boban Marjanovic and TJ McConnell to uh, deals, just one-year deals to be role players. And I don't know what I'm going to do with backup small forward yet, but that's pretty much it. I mean, everybody else, you'd know who I signed. So... I attempted to give like a big man offense to... Uh, Mitchell Robinson or something because his offensive stats are literal garbage. Um, I mean, he's good defensively though. That's the thing. Um, we could give like untapped potential to Jimmy Butler. I feel like that'd be a waste though. But I think he has reached his potential. Same with Tobias Harris. Clint Capella also has reached his potential. Zion is at 85. His potential is probably like a 96, right? Yeah, so really, maybe Dennis Smith, because he's at, what 82 right now, and his potential is 84. Yeah, we're gonna give un, un, we're gonna give untapped potential to Dennis Smith, and then I'm gonna give a big man offense to Mitchell Robinson. I mean, his offensive stats are absolutely garbage. I mean, look at this. I mean, didn't get much better, but all right, guys. So we are at Coach Game Plan. We got Dennis Smith Jr., Jimmy Butler, Zion, Tobias Harris, Clint Capella. With Mitchell Robinson, Alonzo Trier, TJ McConnell, Boba Marjanovic, and Jamal Crawford. I, he's not getting any minutes. I'm sorry. I, I, Jamal Crawford, you're too old. Uh, but anyways, that's what our team's looking like right now. And I'm pretty sure this team's going to be amazing. But I might I might fall victim to the typical thing that happens in 2K where it's like you, you, like you have too many good players and the game almost doesn't know how to make you good because it's like it's too many guys want the ball at once. So that might be a problem, but I think we'll be okay. We're gonna go um, get shooters open, shoot at will. Actually, get shooters open, I feel like wouldn't be good for this team. We're gonna go get to the basket, shoot at will, crush offensive glass, limit perimeter shots, play physical defense, and crash defensive glass. This team, I think, is gonna be really good, guys, but I could be wrong. We're gonna go ahead and simulate. I'll see you guys at the end, or maybe we'll decide to make a trade. I don't know. All right, guys, so Stephen Curry wins the MVP. Zion, Rookie of the Year, 21 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Woo! And his Cantor, 6th Man of the Year, Giannis, DPOY, Most Improved, goes to Jason Tatum, Coach of the Year, Steve Kerr. We had Zion, All-NBA, First Team. What a stud. Um, nobody All-NBA, Second Team. Nobody All-NBA, Third Team. All defensive first team, nobody. All defensive second team, Jimmy Butler. Whew, my man. All rookie first team, obviously, Zion. All rookie second team, Kevin Knox, who's on the Rockets now. But, hey, we got my main man, Clint Capella, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so we were the first seed in the East. Obviously, we won 64 games. This team was amazing this year. Let's go ahead and check out the player stats real quick. Zion, 21.8 points per game, 9.5 rebounds, 6.1 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Dennis Smith, 18.4 points per game, 6.2 assists, 1.3 steals. Tobias Harris, 17 points per game, 6.9 rebounds, 3.2 assists. Jimmy Butler, 16.6 points per game, 4.3 rebounds, 5.3 assists, 2.1 steals. Clint Capella, 15.2 points per game, 12.5 rebounds. I mean... Sometimes you put together a big team like this and not every guy contributes all these guys are contributing in different ways here Which is amazing. I mean, it's like it's like it's like almost like 
there's not enough balls to go around for all of our stars to contribute. But in this scenario, there is enough and everyone's doing their job. So that's awesome. Um, Boban, 9.7 points. I mean, Boban's averaging 10 points, five rebounds on this team. That's crazy. Lonzo Trier's a beast. Mitchell Robinson's a beast. Our team's looking good, guys. I think we're gonna make a big run here in the playoffs. Time to simulate, about to play the Magic. Bruh, we won 64 games and Magic won 38. We're gonna annihilate them. Simulate playoffs, here we go. We won the first, we won the second, we won the third. This has gotta be a sweep. And we sweep them. And we're about to play the Raptors in round two, which is the worst team of the two. So that's good that we're playing them. Raptors win the first one. We win the second. Raptors win the third. We win the fourth. Raptors win the fifth. Hold up. We might get eliminated right here. Let's go to Simcast. Not trying to get eliminated by the Raptors right now. And game six is looking like a blowout. And it is game seven in the Mecca, in New York, in MSG. Oh my God, they're blowing us out right now. We gotta make a comeback. Come on, make that comeback. Wow. We just got beat by the Raptors in the second round. Okay, that is a, an absolute disappointment. That sucks. I cannot believe that. How did that happen? That's awful, guys. Wow. The Raptors are playing the Warriors in the finals. And the Warriors win the championship two years in a row. That's annoying. Well, looks like we're gonna have to give this another shot here next this upcoming year. Draft lottery, do we have a pick here? A top pick? I know we have maybe a Mavericks pick. No, we don't. Okay, so let's go ahead and skip that. And then staff signing. Is there a trainer that has an A plus? Oh, there's a trainer, trainer with A. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fire David Clark and hire Sean Navarro. Okay, and then Dave Fisdale, you're gone. Sorry, I feel like we wouldn't have lost this if we had a better coach. So we're gonna go ahead and hire. Let's go Michael Stauffer. We're getting the best coach. Well, actually, you know what? Is there, is there an actual coach that's good that we could hire? No. Okay, Michael Stauffer, come come coach the come coach the Knicks. We need you to coach us to a ring because obviously Dave Fizdale couldn't get it done. Okay, so we're at our first day in free agency right now. The only cap hold we have is our one-year guys. So, like, that would be... Our Alondra Trier was right there for a while, but still, like, Boban, TJ McConnell, Torrey Craig, Raul Ned. Honestly, I'm tempted to just bring the same team back because... Our, those role players are still good and I think we can win with this team I, I think it was just we needed a coaching change so let me go ahead and find the same players we're just gonna run it back all right well goodbye TJ McConnell then I'll give me Ricky Rubio oh on the whole it's Ricky Rubio 29 McConnell's 28 yeah I'll take Rubio and then yeah that's looking like that's gonna be it for for agency already I, I mean the rest of the players we I like our team so we're gonna go to the training camps now. All right, we have three training camps this year. We're gonna go all out, big man offense. We're gonna give another one to Mitchell Robinson. We're gonna go ahead and give an untapped potential to Dennis Smith. And we're gonna give an untapped potential to, we'll go Clint Capella. Okay, so we got Dennis Smith, Jimmy Butler, Zion, Tobias Harris, Clint Capella, Mitchell Robinson, Ricky Rubio, Alonzo Trier, Boban Marjanovic. And that's really all we need. We don't need Brandon Paul. We don't need Seth Curry. O'Shea Brissett's actually a 76 overall backup small forward. So that would might actually help us here. Um, I'll give him the, the, the minutes. Not all those minutes though. That's crazy. Maybe like 10 minutes. And then we'll go ahead and split them split in between Dennis Smith, Jimmy Butler, and we are about to win a ton of games. We got we got to win the championship this year, guys. There's no way we don't. Guys, season's over. Zion wins the MVP. Brian Antoine rookie of the year, Dennis Schroeder sixth man of the year, Anthony Davis DPOY, Michael Porter most improved, Michael Stauffer coach of the year. Obviously Zion all NBA first team. 
All-NBA second team, nobody. All-NBA third team, nobody. All-Defensive first team, nobody. All-Defensive second team, nobody. Which I'm surprised, uh, you know, Jim Butler's not there, but whatever. And then All-Rookie first team, nobody. All-Rookie second team, nobody. But we went 72-10, and 10, guys, this year. We had the MVP and the Coach of the Year. Let's look at some stats, though. Zion, 23.4 points per game, 9.1 rebounds, 6.7 assists, 1.8 steals, 2.1 blocks a game. Dennis Smith Jr., 18.9 points, 6.1 assists, 1 steal a game. Click Capella, 15.5 points, 12.3 rebounds, 1.6 blocks. Jimmy Butler, 14.3 points, 4.5 assists, 1.9 steals. Tobias Harris, 13.7 points, 6.2 rebounds. 2.8 assists, Ricky Rubio off the bench, 10 points, 6 assists, 1 steal. I mean, guys, this team is amazing. If we don't win it this year, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I might never play, play 2K again if that's the case. Let's go ahead and simulate playoffs. I'm not even going to stop. If we get in trouble, I'm like, you know what, it is what it is. Because there's, I mean, there's no way we don't make the finals. But we're getting beat by the Hawks, though. Okay, we shouldn't, Hawks shouldn't have took us to 6 games. That's embarrassing. Hopefully we make quick work of the uh, almost the Eagles, 76ers here, and we beat them in five. I'm about to play the Bucks in the conference finals. We win the first, we win the second, we win the third, and we go to the finals in a sweep. Let's go ahead and simulate this current round. We're about to play the Nuggets. It, it's going to be easy game regardless. We're either playing the Nuggets or the Trailblazers. What's crazy is the Jazz went out in the second round. The Warriors went out in the first round. We had five, six, two, and eight matchups in the West Conference Finals. So the best team in the regular season definitely didn't make it out. But it is SimCast time. We won about 30 more games in regular season than Nuggets did. <laughs> so uh, we should destroy the Nuggets, but they are destroying us right now. And it is not looking promising. Like it's looking real bad right now. Like pretty gross. Like, oh, we made a comeback in the last three minutes. That's amazing. Oh, oh overtime. Yo, it's an overtime right now. That's, that's scary. Come on, Knicks, do something. Do something. Oh, the Knicks taking over. The Knicks taking over. I wonder who scored in that game. Zion, 28, 8, and 6. Nikola Jokic, 33, 12, and 12. Okay. Simulate with Simcast, game 2. We're in New York. We should not be taking L's like this, bro. We're getting blown out at the start of every game. It is not good. Like, I, I am not comfortable with it. Even if we keep making the comeback, that's no way to play. And we didn't make the comeback that time. We got destroyed the whole game. About to play the Nuggets in game three here in Denver. Denver has high altitude, as I'm, as I'm sure you guys all know. It doesn't really make sense for the Knicks to all of a sudden just be amazing in high altitude, but whatever. We're just going to forget that exists. The Knicks are beating them, and it is going to be an absolute distraction. Not absolute distraction. It's only a seven-point game, but it felt like it was more because we were ahead the whole time. So we're ahead 2-1 right now in Denver again. And now Denver looks like they're putting the points on, but we're definitely not far away from a comeback. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Fourth quarter, four minutes left. It's back and forth. It looks like the Nuggets might pull it off here unless we uh, get our heads in the game. Another overtime. Wow. And can we come in clutch in overtime once again? And we do. And we beat them in overtime. So it is a 3-1 series right here. This next one is for the championship. Here we go. And we're blowing them out in New York. It's not even close. Unless they make some sort of random miraculous comeback this game is over let's go ahead and jump in this 87 80 they're making a bit of a comeback but i think we'll be fine oh uh, bro don't tell me zion fouled out why does zion always star players always foul out in 2k it's so annoying and dennis smith is one foul away from fouling out too man 2k always has a do me dirty in my league and Denver with a change here too. Paul it's not even the fact like i know i have a lot of star players but it's just and like so really they in always have to foul out nuggets. Alright, five point game, three minutes left. Grab that. Oh, it's a steal. Dennis Smith. Dunk that. Dennis Smith. Oh, give me free throws. Alright, I like that. Dennis Smith makes the first. And he misses a second. That's disappointing. Bro, I'm a little concerned about having Dennis Smith guarding. Jamal Murray right now because that's that's free throw. I mean he's one foul away from fouling out. 
Let's see if we can ISO, hit some dribble moves with Dennis Smith, get around him. Mitchell Robinson. Nuggets are a good defensive team. Mitchell, pump fake. Tobias Harris, pump fake. Tobias Harris to the basket. How, bro? We can't get anything to fall right now. No, that's contested. Wow. Okay. Just a two-pointer. Game still tied. We still get to the basket. Go this way. Go this way. Spin move. Mitchell Robinson to Tobias Harris. Green release. There we go. We got a bucket finally. Nice ball movement there. Nope. Ooh. He missed it. Give me that rebound. Dennis Smith. Push the pace. All the way to the basket. Dennis Smith. Dennis Smith with the layup. Smothered layup, but it don't matter. Nope. Oh, I tried contesting it the best I could. It's all right. If we hold on to the ball here and score one more time, we should be good. I think I can, I think I can get a nice little mid-range step back with Dennis Smith here. Worst comes to worst if they score, as long as it's not a three, we'll be good. Here we go. Mid-range step back. Uh-oh. It's Robinson. Okay, that was a failure. Probably way too long to make my move, but as long as we can stop them. Oh, no. He missed it. Give it to Dennis Smith. Jimmy Butler. I, I feel comfortable shooting free throws with Jimmy Butler. Bro, they're trying to jack up threes. He misses that one. Get to Jimmy. Oh, I don't want to be shooting with Clint Capella. And there you have it. The New York Knicks in our third season won a championship with Jimmy Butler as our team leader. I thought KD and Kyrie were going to come, but they didn't. We had to call an audible. It still worked out. And it is Zion winning the MVP. That's the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the rebuild, give it a like. Comment down below and give me suggestions for uh, other rebuilds. And subscribe if you're new here to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Mwah. I love you. Talk to you next time.